guys and welcome back to another unfiltered gamer card game review today's game up on the tabletop is called what the wolf and it is a three to five player card game it has a little bit of take that hand management and uh, area control it takes about 20 to 25 minutes and it's for ages up it's made by shivani sharma and it is a game in which you're just trying to draw cards from a deck and hold on to the best cards at the end of the game the deck will run out and you're gonna uh, each have one more turn to play cards and then you're gonna add up all the points in your hand and whoever has the most points is the winner it's a game a game about dogs and you're going to be placing dogs down from your hand they're doing certain things like asking for belly rubs or maybe they're peeing on a tree trunk and you're trying to hold the best cards in your hand that have the highest points certain things are going to happen like drop cards in which events are going to take place and you'll need to try and manage your hand as best as possible while others are trying to dismantle your hand holding onto the best cards of the game is going to win you the game let me show you down below what the game looks like what's in it and uh, how to play and then we'll come up and i'll review it so here we have the game what the wolf and everything included in it so let's go ahead and take it down below and i'll show you what you get in it first of all you're going to get a stack of cards here this is going to be the main amount of things you're going to get in the game but there are different types of cards you're going to be getting drop cards territory cards over here and of course action cards action cards generally will have a negative number on them and the territory cards are going to have a positive number on them drop cards are cards that are going to draw from the top of the deck drop them down and do whatever they say some of them will have you doing belly rubs others will have you doing challenges against territories and some will have you discarding the highest value territory cards from your hand which can be very painful every single player is going to take all of these cards here and and, uh, for a three player game and you're going to shuffle them all up into this deck and then deal out five cards to each and every player if they get any drop cards in their hand you'll need to shuffle those drop cards up and then put them back in the deck and draw new cards so we'll go ahead and check really quick to make sure nobody got any drop cards uh no drop cards here no drop cards here and over here no drop cards either perfect okay so everybody's got their five cards they've got their deck here which has been thoroughly shuffled then they're going to begin choose a player who maybe owns a dog or last took their dog out to use the restroom and begin the game each player is going to get two actions on their turn and actions are fairly simple you can choose to either play a card or you can choose to draw a card from the deck once you do that your turn is over in the game pretty simple um that is pretty much the idea of the game when the deck fully goes out then everybody's gonna get one more turn you're gonna add up the amount of points in a player's hand and that will be their total sum total so in this case right here would not be a good ending hand you'd actually only get three minus three minus three which is negative three points for this specific player and then this player would get uh ooh, that's pretty good nine minus uh three times two so this player would probably likely win against these three but that's pretty much what you get in the game along with of course the rule book here and a box for what the wolf what the wolf okay let's go ahead and show you how to play the game see who's gonna win this one so let's go ahead and begin for three players and have everybody take five cards the deck has been shuffled and now we're dealing out five cards to each and every player in the game once everybody's got their hand size like i talked about before you're going to check just to make sure there's no drop cards there's a drop card right there so he'll draw a new one and then after their hands are all set here's another drop card then you're going to begin okay i just want to make sure we don't get any drop cards because those are special actions that will take place when you're playing the game so he's okay then we'll take the deck shuffle any of the cards that we had previously taken out of hand and place them back in the deck and make sure it's nice and shuffled so we don't know where those drop cards are those are really special cards there okay so let's go ahead and begin we'll go ahead and start with this player over here on our left and he's going to go ahead and look at his hand he's got a plus one point he's got a plus one point and then he's got three minus three that's minus nine points but luckily the game doesn't end until this deck runs out so we can choose to play any of these three cards we want the first one is everyone gives you a fire hydrant if he plays that that's going to give uh, hopefully him some fire hydrants this one is a leash it says make a dog discard until they have exactly five cards in their hand and any of uh, you can take two of those cards and put them into your hand that's pretty good but right now it's not so good and we have bark stop any action so once an action is played you can use this card out of turn to play to, to get that do that actions or to stop that action so we'll go ahead and play poopsie poopsie does anybody have any fire hydrants in their hand he does not have any fire hydrants 
and uh, neither does he so unfortunately no good now these cards are kept hidden but we'll just have them out so you guys can see them his next action is going to draw a card <gasps> belly rub okay belly rub is a drop card and it says you shuffle this card back into the drop pile now everyone must rub their belly before their turn and anyone who's uh, anyone who forgets must discard a card the dog that picked this card up the second time must discard a card before putting the belly rub card uh, aside so this card's going to do random actions and stuff like that. So this would actually take place, and then this would only get discarded, place it back into the deck, and, and like shuffle it up, basically. And that would be his action. He would be done. And then it'd be this player's turn here. He's got peas a lot. Uh, <laughs> take one pull from one dog of your choice. A plus five, a plus three, another plus three, and a poopsie. Everyone gives you a fire hydrant. Well, he knew how this worked out, so it's likely that he doesn't have a fire hydrant, or it's factually certain he doesn't and he probably doesn't so we we'll probably save this for later maybe we'll just simply play peas a lot so we'll play this card on this guy here taking a pull from him and then he'll go ahead and draw a card as well now it's this player's turn here he's got these two territory cards which is a four and he's got a couple cards here steal two cards that random from a player's hand and he'll do that shuffle that this guy will shuffle up his hand this guy will take two randomly from that place player's, player's hand Ooh, that was awesome and maybe we'll go ahead and do that one more time very useful card in fact and yeah we'll go with this guy again shuffle up his cards and then take two cards at random there's no amount of ha cards you ha need to have in your hand you can have as many as you'd like and uh basically trying to get as many positive points as possible and this player may just simply choose to take two cards because he needs the cards in his hand that's a squirrel card this one says a dog of your choice um expose <laughs> expose the cards of, of a dog of your choice and exchange one of your cards one of theirs that's pretty useful and this player over here he's got an angry cat but i don't think he, anybody has any garbage cans yet so we'll draw another one Ooh, five points that's a really powerful card and another one here that's a bark that stops actions very useful okay and this guy here he actually has a lot of cards in hand he can do the fire hydrant one he could do oh we'll do this one everybody gives you a garbage can any garbage cans in this player's hand ah oh, no anyone in this player's hand also no that did not help him as much and continuing to go along and that's just going to keep going throughout the game eventually this deck is going to run out but let's go ahead and talk about a couple of the other drop cards beforehand like bad dog it says immediately give away two of your highest territory cards to one dog of your choice so when this pops out that's what's going to happen this will go into the discard pile and another one that's really interesting is there is let's see if i can find it really quick the challenge cards when this pops out every player can place a territory card of their choice face down in front of them and after they do that everybody's going to reveal their territory cards the player with the highest one is going to basically get that card immune for the rest of the game they'll stay in front of them it can never be touched and it's their points at the end of the game so these two then get discarded and that's the idea this deck runs out everybody will have one more turn to play any actions that they'd like and then you're going to go ahead and tally up points in a player's hand and <laughs> this is going to be a terrible score for this guy he's got a bunch of negatives so he's probably not going to win and then this guy here he's got 10 points minus six which is four and then this player over here he's got six seven eight minus six is two so in this case this player would actually win the only other little thing i want to talk about is that there is a card in this deck that gives you a times two benefit if this card is in your hand at the end of the game you're going to double your points so if this player had this card as well it would be six uh seven eight minus six which is two times two is four in which case these players would in fact tie so that can actually be very very beneficial there's only one in the deck though but otherwise that's the idea of how you play the game what the wolf a quick party game for three to five players okay let's come talk about it all right so i do have a caveat for what the wolf and the main caveat is when you run out of cards, regardless of if it's mid-action, at the end of your turn, at the beginning of your turn, you have no cards in hand, you draw two instantly. So you're always going to have at least two cards in hand. It's a good way to uh, remove, or uh, not allow people to basically make, have you have nothing. Now, additionally, the game is going to basically progress with turns, two actions, two actions, two actions. The last thing is you can discard three pull cards in your hand. And pull cards are the blue ones, are the ones that are worth one point. And if you discard three of them on your turn, it's not an action from what I, I believe, you can just discard three, you can then choose a card, ask for a player for a card, like go fish, and have them give you that card. It's very beneficial when you're trying to get things like the tree trunk from a player, because you lose three points, but you steal five from them, which is a 
a 10 point swing pretty useful uh, but otherwise that's the basic idea of the game there's certain drop cards to do certain things and the rule book here will tell you exactly how all of those cards work it's got a nice front and back which explains everything you need to know uh, and the game probably takes maybe five ten minutes to figure out how to play I like this game it is a take that game. And what is really cool about it is when I first started playing it, I was nervous that there was going to be a whole bunch of cards in my hand at the end of the game. But that is not actually the case because the way the game works uh, by taking cards from other players, having you discard cards, doing territory battles and all this other kind of stuff, you actually end up with a hand that's roughly the same size, maybe a little bit more than what you previously started with at the beginning of the game. It has a great way of controlling the amount of cards in your hand, uh, regardless of whether you just keep drawing to every single turn or not because the action cards need to be played because they're negative points you do not want to hold on to the action cards at the end of the game because that can really cause you some problems when i played the game we were simply usually drawing a card and playing an action card or playing two action cards if it really benefited us there's a lot of combinations in the game that you can do certain things with such as being able to pull a card from the discard pile as an action and then playing that card so Maybe the draw two cards from another player's hand at random. It's a very powerful card. Uh, there's some unique twists to the game other than just the drop cards. Simple, simply the times two bonus. That thing is very, very powerful, especially if you are very close to winning and the very end of the game you end up drawing it. I would suggest taking it out and using it as a variant if you want. If you want the game to be a little bit closer of a game, uh, it might benefit you to just set it aside and if you want to play, I guess, a more strategic, tactical version of this game. Now, this is a party game. It's a take that game. You're going back and forth with each other, just trying to pee on as many things as possible as a dog, of course. Don't be peeing on things as, as a human being. That's, that's probably against the law, actually, so, so don't do that. But as a dog, you can do that, and you're going to be able to hold on to the cards now of course with that times two card it becomes a little bit of a tug of war which is why i say you can or can or cannot take it out depending on how you want to play the game but it's a nice extra little variant and then the other card is the belly rubbing card if you don't actually want to have to do the belly rubbing card there's only one of them in there so you can kind of mix and match the cards in as you please uh and generally it's going to be a battle the game comes out pretty close one of the first games we played is actually a very close game but then the last card drawn from my opponent he drew the times two it just happened to be the last card in the game didn't even know it was in the deck and i lost by double my points which can happen so i was just like ah oh, that card man i'll take that out just because i want a closer game but he's like it is a take that game and it's kind of random what happens which is kind of the fun of it and i'm like well that's true well maybe it just depends on how i'm feeling then so maybe it will depend on how you're feeling as well if you like take that party games it is a solid choice it has some unique little aspects that are fun for a take that game is it deeply tactical and strategic nah, probably not but it does have some strategy it does have the choice in which when you want to play cards and how you want to and even drawing can be more dangerous than playing cards because if you draw certain cards like some of the drop cards they can make you lose cards in hand that you may or may not want to lose there are definitely cards that will keep the game close because they'll make you discard higher values of cards from your hand it was a thought out process with making the game it's fun the last thing i want to say about it is it plays three to five from when i when i imagine it says three to five in the rule books or rule book but i played it three played it four and then i actually played it two players yeah three to five and it works well two players as well i mean i i enjoyed it playing two players which i guess even though it wasn't designed for it. Of course, the more players you play it with, the more fun it's going to be because the more crazy shenanigans are going to happen. The turns take place very quickly, and so it's always going to be your turn fairly quickly. <laughs> and uh, additionally, if you like games like Uno or any games that involve that quick take that method of instead of discarding cards in your hand, this one's going to be holding cards in your hand. They share similarities in that nature. Players who don't like take that games are probably not going to like this one. There's nothing different about this one that changes the way take, take that game takes place so probably not for you players who don't like aggressive type games it may not be for you it is all in fun and games but some people can get pretty sad when they lose two tree trunks from their hand taking them from the first place to the last place if you're lighthearted and just have a just want to have a fun time with a quick game that is gateway and additionally a party family friendly game this one is probably going to be for you what the wolf is going to be on kickstarter you can take a look down below if it interests you i had a lot of fun playing this game i like a lot of basic take that style games i don't think this one is surprisingly different than any other ones but it does have some interesting mechanics as i've explained that you may or may not want to take a look at go ahead and take a look down below if what the wolf sounds like something that you'd like to, to, to take a look at i mean i was going to do some kind of dog innuendo but 
I, I couldn't think of one. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review or card game review. If you like this video, check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. We do a ton of Kickstarter games and all that good stuff. Also, hit the notification bell button if you want to see more reviews from us. We're putting out all kinds of reviews of all types of games, and uh, we'd really greatly appreciate your support. Do go ahead and let us know what you think about the game. And if you have any questions, ask. We do answer those comments. And don't forget to check out the game. What the woof? It's a three to five player trick taking game. Most people like that type of game. Party games is good for parties. As well as taking a look at our website, unfilteredgamer.com. Tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. We're giving away games Santorini, but not for much longer. So go ahead and enter that to win on the website. Santorini is a great game. As well as what's great is our live streams. Every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. PST. If you want to watch us play games, do arts and crafts, we do painting miniatures and all that stuff. And also we give away games live on the stream. It's a great community of people and we have a lot of fun playing together and talking together. So it's, it's a great way of connecting with us. All right, guys, that's all you have for this time. And as always, I'm looking forward to woofing, woofing with you next time. <laughs> that was Dog Bark. I don't know if he actually put it in the editing or not.